guys i'm back with another video and i just wanted to show you guys how you can just do basic acrylic application um i think i've made other videos before but i just want to tell you guys how you can do it at home step by step and you know save you a little money from going to the shop you know you might not want to go to the shop and spend like 60 70 dollars and sometimes even a hundred dollars like there's no way but you will have to invest in the material and the supplies okay so you know if you're comfortable with spending like almost two hundred dollars for just your basic good stuff you know go ahead and get it like you can get a drill off amazon uh you can get a good drill like this uh Ellie's, Ellie's. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. You get this. I got this drill for like three six bucks, and then you could get you like um, a little jar of young nails acrylic powder. You know, you get you a couple rose buds. The one I like to use uh, for my nudes and everything. It really goes with any pigment skin, like any skin color. Like seriously, like it's it's some good stuff i actually need to get some more but yeah you know young nails is on amazon as well i think this jar was like 16 bucks or something like that and then you want to get you some monomer um i use glamour shields monomer you know uh bma it says no mma some people say it's mma in it but you know i mean it don't seem like it's ever made to me because when I soak them off, I don't, I don't have a problem. But, you know, that's that's them. That's whatever. They might got a bad batch or whatever. They're just, like, unfamiliar. You know, also, if you soak your nails off in acetone, but you don't wait that long, it will come off gummy. And then we like, oh, my gosh, it's... It's, it's MMA, but you really, it's just the stuff breaking down. You just didn't wait long enough. So, and then you can get you a good acrylic brush. Um, if you're a beginner, I recommend you get a size 8 to 12 or 8 to 14 if you feel like you're very comfortable with it. Hey, Pooh. But you need to get you a nice acrylic brush. Hey, Pooh. Get you a good acrylic brush. Okay. Marmor acrylic powder. Um... Uh, brush drill because you're gonna have to have a drill you know to seal your cuticles and everything and also if you're a beginner most of the times they're like really bulky and you don't want to just go ahead and file and file with your hand because it gets really tiring like quit you'll be like forget this i'm tired and you'll probably even leave them bumpy like i used to sometimes i was just like oh they get it out and we walking around and then they pop off too because i was just starting i didn't do it right but anyway yeah, get you a drill. Um, get you some good hand files. If you're using acrylic, you will want to get 8080. And that's because 8080, uh, the lower the number, the finer it is. 8080 grit is like really good for acrylic. Like you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to shape that long. You know what I'm saying? It's going to cut. It, it cuts really good. Be careful not to cut yourself. You might want to season your um, fingernail files. Seasoning. You get your fingernail files like your new ones or whatever, and you go ahead and do that for a little bit just so they're not as sharp so you won't cut yourself. Also, you're gonna need some nail tips, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with getting you some little dollar nail tips from the beauty supply store or getting some, um, uh, just some nail tips. You might want to get on Timu and find something, you know, it's really whatever. Nail tips are Pretty good. I have a brand new crappy nail tips. All my nail tips I've gotten, which are from various places, have been really good. So, you know, it's not like you're just going to be hurting if you don't get the top of the line nail tips, okay? Like, I got these nail tips from uh, Tima, and they work pretty good. You know, some people are like, I don't have a little flimsy, but like, come on now, you're really just looking for uh, some nail tips. You're going to put the product on top anyway, so it's not like, you know, and these are good because you see how I bend it. And there's like no crease or whatever. So there's no crease on these nail tips. Like I said, I got them from Timu. There's stiletto nail tips. I think they're just long. I don't think it's extra long. They might look extra long, but they're just long, you know. And um, get you some nail glue. Get you some good nail glue. There are crappy nail glues out there. Okay, yeah, there is crappy nail glue, so you do want to get some decent nail glue. I like to use LA Colors uh, Ultimate Hold. I get this from Walmart. I think it was like, um, it was either $2 
or under two dollars I cannot remember you guys sorry about that but yeah go ahead and get you some of this and um, also if you want to like I said I'm trying to give you some tips on how you could do your own nails at the house and also like save money and then you could use it like multiple times not like it's just gonna do one set and that be it like if you want to do it this time and do it another time it'll be enough to last you but um yeah uh, get this nail glue the nail tips the drill mommers, uh, the fingernail files fingernail files you're gonna want to get them in bulk too because you save money um what am I missing oh yeah okay boom sorry y'all I've been doing a lot of pop-off sets and I kind of forgot some stuff you probably want to get some good scissors you can use some house scissors like you usually do I got these house I mean house I got these scissors from Timu as well they're super cute I love them and um get you some dehydrator and some nail primer I did a video on um on Savaland dehydrator and primer and it's actually pretty good I'm using it right now on this set because I just wanted to try it out again but before I have used it and the nails did kind of like pop off sooner and the goal is you want to have your nails on for like four to six weeks but models one models one dehydrator models one primer I think it comes in a set um, that's how I got it not sure now because this actually has lasted me for a while but yeah you want to do that and what else um, I mean yeah I think that's pretty much it for like the basic of you just doing your nails you know what I'm saying like that's really it you probably just want to get some alcohol um, just to cleanse your nail and everything oh cool you want a piece of candy okay look this, this, this piece of candy you can get oh my gosh <laughs> okay we're good okay we're good okay so with your natural nail, you go ahead, if your nails are like all jagged and everything, you want to shape your nail because you still want to take care of your natural nail. Just don't go slapping anything on. So you go ahead and get your fingernail file and you shape it and look at that pretty old shape. I say old, it's kind of ominous. But yeah. Then you get your drill. You go ahead and get a, um, a fine bit. You don't want it too coarse because it can hurt. And you put your drill, I put it on 1,000 RPMs because it's like you're hitting a natural nail. You don't want to hurt yourself. So, like, you know, just don't go crazy. I'm like, eh, you know, like, don't, don't do that. Especially if you're starting off, like, don't do that. Do not play with this drill because it will mess up your natural nail. Like, I'm so serious. Okay. So, what if you, you're right-handed or you're left-handed or whatever. Either way, you hold the drill like this. Okay, boo, thank you. Okay, and here it is. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and talk yourself. Go ahead and talk yourself. What else? Mama. Oh, okay. So here it is. You use your pinky as an anchor Mama. for everything. When you have your acrylic brush, when, you have your brush, when you're painting and everything else. So you go ahead and you start from this side. And make sure you have light on both sides so you can see what you're doing. So you go ahead. You get your drill. And you do it like this. You anchor your pinky if you're using, uh, like, if you're doing it on yourself, you go like this. You see what I'm saying? You're going to anchor your pinky on the finger. That's how I usually do it. Or, yeah, it's kind of difficult on the other hand. I usually do my, the finger I'm working on. So, you go ahead. I'm going to use my thumb. Um, you go ahead and you go around. You go around. I'm sorry, you guys. I skipped this up because this, this is like this is fake. Get you a cuticle pusher, and if you can, get you a cuticle cutter. This is I don't, I don't know. I call it a cuticle cutter, it's whatever. Um, and you go like this. Do not use. Let me find it. Do not use this to cut your cuticles. Don't use this to cut your cuticles, and I'll tell you why, because you can hurt yourself, okay? If you're starting off and you think you're finna, ah, oh, I'm finna get my cuticles, like, do not do this. Do not do that. If you just have to cut your cuticles, 
like you just really want to get deep in there. And I get it, some people have stubborn cuticles. Go ahead and make sure that you go and get you some cuticle remover, instant cuticle remover. This is really good. You put it on your cuticle before you push them up and anything. You get just cuticle remover, you put it on, let it sit for 15 seconds. Then you'll take your cuticle pusher and push it up. When you push it up or whatever, then you use this side. This should not cut you. This should not cut you. If you cut yourself, you are going way too hard, huh, girl? So here it is. You get your thing. Uh, so I'm cuticle, and you go around it. And here it is. I got my cuticles right there, and it's cutting it. But you can see, see how that picks that up? I don't know if you can see in the camera. I'm going to do it right here, too. And it goes around. And it picks up that dead skin that's there. Do not, I mean, unless you got like a hangnail or something. I got these from Walmart. If you got a hangnail or something, clip it off. Don't pull it because you'll tear the skin. You don't want to do that. Okay. So, anyway. Cuticle remover. I'm pushing the cuticle back. Use your pinky as an anchor. Pushing the cuticle back. Pushing it back. Pushing it back. And then you're doing your cuticle remover as well. I'm going to call this a cuticle remover. And then you go around, okay? You go around like that. And then boom, that should be good for your cuticle. You should be done, do not get back on there, okay? Like that is it. I know some people use cuticle balls. I use them sometimes, but I'm just letting you know, like that, that should really be it. Okay, back to the drill. So 100, uh -huh. oh my gosh, no, do not, not 100. 1,000 RPMs. And of course, this is after you wipe the stuff off. Do not do this with that cuticle remover on it. It's too, it's, you don't want that. You just clean it off with alcohol or just clean it off with alcohol. Okay, so you go ahead and you get the cuticles and the natural bag and all this. They get the cuticles, just whatever. Go around. 1,000 RPMs. It should not hurt. I got the small bit from Timu as well. Not Timu. Let's take that back. Sheen. Sheen, you guys. She and Sheen, whatever y'all want to call it. And then you go like this. Don't, don't do it like that. Go around, lift, go around, lift, go around, lift, go around, lift. I'm lifting every time. Might not look like I'm doing it, but I am. Okay, boom. She done. Like don't. Don't foul it too long, okay? Because you mess up the natural one. Okay, boom. Do that. And then here it is. You dust the finger off. Oh, now I'm ready to add the nail tip. Okay, girl. What should I do that, girl? Oh, that's a little. Okay, girl. I got some trees to let off uh, tips. And if you don't, you just go ahead and get you some square and get you some scissors and you cut it into a V. You know how to cut. And. Size up the tip from sidewall to sidewall. Do not use a tip that is too small because it will pop off. And don't use a tip that's too big. If you are going to use a tip that's too big, you go ahead and get you some fingernail clippers or your scissors. I like to use these straight edge fingernail clippers because they like go straight across. You know what I'm saying? Because the other ones kind of curve and they'll give you a funky shape. So you go straight from side to side, cut little by little, and then keep measuring it to see if it fits perfect on your finger or if you're doing someone else's hands, fit perfect on their finger, okay? So, let's let you know by tips. Do not get tips that too small, it'll definitely pop off. Okay. So we got that, and get you some glue. Some people put it on the natural nail and add the glue tip, I like the glue tip, add the tip to the glue, but I mean, sometimes I do it either way, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I like to do this as well. I'll add it to the tip. And then line it up with that knuckle. And then boom. Now this is a little practice finger. Um, it takes a little long. Let's see. Last time I used it wasn't with the Ultra Bond, but okay, boom, there we go. That Ultra Bond of truth, y'all, I'm telling you, get it at Walmart. And I, like I said, I think everything that you can, that I'm showing you, you can get under a hundred dollars. So you could do your own nails with it. Okay, but when we got that going, just want to be careful, make sure it's dry. Now, if you want to shape your sides a little bit, you can go right to left, left to right, whatever you want to do. You want that shape 
to be the shape after you put the acrylic on, you pre-shape it. You want to pre-shape it. Do not think that you're going to do a square and put acrylic on it and then shape it into uh, a stiletto easily. Not saying that you can't do it because I have before, but you, it's not going to be easy. It, 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 you know, like it, it's going to take some time. So just go ahead and just pre-shape. Pre-shape your stuff out. I like to be careful with these because I don't want my nails to pop off. Yeah, see, it's kind of lifting a little bit. I don't want that. So, you know, this is the like, we're just going to leave it at that. But you get the juice. That's that. Okay, boom. We done with the shaping. Dust it off. Now we're going to go in with our dehydrator. We'll get your dehydrator. You don't have to drench their finger as long as you use it. And then you see it should turn back to ash. Give it like, hey, cool. Give it like give it like 15 to 30 seconds you know while you're working on the other hand it should be dry but it should come up ashy you know that lets you know that your prep game is good if it's not ashy that means you got some oil on there okay and if you still got some oil maybe you should use some um some alcohol just to clean it off you know because some people nail beds are oilier than others so you know you go ahead and do that and you wait 15 to 30 seconds and then you go ahead with your primer like I say, you don't have to drench the nail down in this, you know. Yeah, you, you waste product anyway. Like it's not nail polish. You don't have to cover it. Like you're doing two coats of nail polish, you know. So boom, boom, boom. While this way, and we are going to do our acrylic powder. Um, since I'm doing a tutorial, I was going to do an ombre, but that's you know, I'm just trying to get y'all the basics of what's going on. And. powder I got from AliExpress. Stop pointing at me. AliExpress got some decent powder, okay? Like, they got decent powder. You're just trying to do what you do and, you know what I'm saying? Get you some AliExpress powder. And you get a lot of it. Okay? You get a lot of it. Okay, you go ahead and get your monomer while that's going on. And make sure you get a paper towel as well. You gotta have some paper towels because you gotta keep wiping your brush. Okay, I use my brush to guide the monomer because I do not want it to spill everywhere so I do that it's only one finger I really didn't have to pull that much okay so boom you go ahead you condition your brush and if you want to know how you wash your brush off how I do it is um I have some acetone and I put acetone in a jar in a container like this you know and then I'll put like a little bit of monomer and it'll help get that acrylic off because I know as a beginner you're like oh my brush is full of acrylic and you know you don't want to ruin your brush so to prevent that you just go ahead and you just cleanse it out with acetone I'd probably say like 80% acetone, 20% monomer and don't pour a lot of my I'm telling you just don't you know do you you know how to do your ratios with that so here it is, you condition your brush, wipe from the side, wipe from the other side, just so you can get a good gist on it, like, yeah, that looks good, okay? This is a size 18 brush, and I got a size 18 because uh, I like longer nails, and it has to be a little faster. So boom, what you do is, don't start out with no big B. If you a beginner, you think you finna go ahead and pick that bead up and it's finna boom, 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 like, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. I'm not saying that you gotta use a whole bunch of small beads. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable, but do not start off thinking that you finna do the one bead method, okay? Some people can, that's nice. But I'm just trying to, like I said, help people out who just really wanna do their nails at the house and not have to struggle about it because you do the nails and be like, I'm frustrated, I'm not finna do this. Pinky, use your pinky as an anchor. Use your pinky here, here it is, I'm gonna dab my brush in one two three this is a big brush so i can pick up more beads while draining a lot of liquid you let that bead sit for one two three four sit it where the natural nail and the nail tip meets your bead should sit like that okay it shouldn't be running down it shouldn't be you know what i'm saying that bead i'm in control of that bead wipe your brush off constantly guide your bead Guide your baby. You get some underneath, swipe it. 
you shouldn't be swiping either. It's not paint. Okay, it's acrylic. When you do all that swiping, you're wasting material. Okay, a lot of people, they'll grab their fingers to grab this bead at the tip. You don't have to. Just trust yourself. Wipe it. Boom. condition my bead on bead I condition my brush between um it was starting to flare out I've had this brush for some months and I'm still learning to I have to do something about that I might just need to get a new brush and put it on the good side okay so here it is boom Drying up as you use it. Look at that. Okay. Go ahead. Get the brush in monomer. Like I said, it's a bigger brush, so I'm gonna wipe out more liquid. Go ahead and use your pinky to anchor. Be careful not to knock your stuff over. Drain your bead. One, two, three, four. I like to place my beads like this. Place it down. You see how it's not moving? Good. Now you don't want to put it on the cuticle. You want to be able to push it up. This is really hard because here this is a new skin pigment. Oh yeah, make sure your finger is down. Downward. If you do it like this, it'll go everywhere. So you want to get it together. Let's clean up. Get it together. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. You're molding. you molding it, girl. Mold it up. Mold that nail. Mold it. This is what I was talking about. Some people go like this. I'm not gonna say you can't do it. I seen a lot of people do it, and it's whatever. If you got gloves on, do you? Whatever, but I don't want anyone to catch an allergy reaction to doing that. So that's why I was just like, just do the best you can with this. And when you get the file, and if you want to get rid of it, you know, just just do it like that. Okay, so boom, we got that. Here it is. You want to get that um, apex. So you don't pick up the bigger B. You pick up a little bitty bee. A little bitty bee, okay? And then you write one, two, three, four. You want to place it right here. And then you get her together. And get her even. Look at that. Do not swipe the whole bead down. Swipe from side to side. The middle bring down at the bottom. So I don't know if I put it in y'all's brush, I got some of mine. <laughs> My brush one flared out last time, so it might be time just to get one. I get one, I got myself a present. But yeah, there you go, boom, boom, boom. The apex do not have to be sitting super high. The apex is just to support uh, your natural nail. With the, um, I want to get this off so that it's just a support, you know. You need to have a little bit of apex. Now with short nails, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not that big of a deal because it's not a longer nail. But the longer the nail, the more apex you should probably have. If that makes sense. It makes sense, you get it. Okay, so boom, you see that? You see how it's got that hump right there? And if you want, like, girl, I need a little bit more of a hump. Okay, go back in your monomer, go back in your powder. You get you another little bead. You drain. One, two, three, four. Place it, like, not on the cuticle. Do not place it on the cuticle. 
when you go like this and you mold it, you tap, tap, tap. Use the tip of your brush to get in the cuticle. Get some, take the edge of your brush, make sure it's cleaned off. Take the edge of your brush, swipe around the cuticles like this. Go around like that, you know. Make sure you don't have any lumpy or bumpy spots. So this practice finger is really hard. I'm my mom. Hey, cool. It's really hard to This acrylic powder from AliExpress is, re is really um, beginner friendly, I believe. And here it is. I kind of want that to be. Um, I don't need much. If you got like a little dip in there, place it. Make sure the bead isn't running. Dap, dap, dap. Make sure you clean the brush. Swipe a little bit so it can blend. Then you build, you build, you mold it. See how it that hardened up before I got the swiping? Hey, Pooh, can you put that back on, please? It's cold, yeah, here. It's cold, Pooh. Okay. So, boom. You see that? So you yeah, girl, that's how I want my nail to look. Yeah, that's how I want it to look. You want it to have enough um, strength to it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want no flat nails, like too flat that it just look like it's seriously just a nail tip on your hand. Like you do not want that. Okay, make sure you cover your powder up. You're cleaning your brush out. You know what I'm saying? Their nails drying, your nails drying. Um, make sure you clean your brush out. My brush isn't really dirty, but here it is. Like I just put monomer on it. Cleaned it out, it's straight. You got your little extra container. You can put your monomer in. I suggest you do that. Do not throw away your monomer. This is, uh, you can use that for practice. Do not, you're not gonna use no new monomer every time. Like, come on, that, that's me. That's one of my things. It worked for me. Some people are like, girl, you gotta throw that monomer away. I'm not gonna throw that used monomer out on some, so I can use it like on some fake nails. I'm not gonna use it on a real person. But you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. I'm not high. I'm playing me. I'm not high. Okay. And then I clean out my stuff. You know what I'm saying? More stuff. Yeah, just uh, I always want to be cleaning as you go. Let that dry. Not sure how long. Probably a minute. Probably like 60 seconds for it to dry. Let's see. It's not dry. I can feel it. But while that is doing that, I can show you guys. Get this small bit. Get this small bit from Sheen, okay? I think it's like $3 and some change. Get you the small bit. Now, with the small bit, it does not come with the sand bands, okay? So you have to buy your own sand bands. I bought two cases of them. I said cases, packages, whatever. Okay. Here it is. It says three millimeters small mini nail setting bands. You need it. it come in 50. They got those. And then they got the little cute pink ones. I started off with the cute pink ones. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just, it's just cute. 240. 240 is like the natural sand band number for these, okay? And if you want, you can go ahead and get you the medium or whatever. But I like to use the 240. And you do not need to, you know. If you if you just want to buy one, you could just get the 241 like I just showed y'all, okay? Then you go ahead and get it and you just insert it on there. Don't do not put it in your drill and then put it in here and then put it on and stuff because you can mess up your drill and then you be looking crazy like, oh my god, I got it stuck or it's not working, it's not spinning like it needs to. Do not do that. Do not be lazy. Get your sandband, put it on this uh drill bit, 
and then you insert your drill bit. If you're doing a longer nail, the longer you stick it out, okay? You're doing a short nail, the more you push it in, okay? Like, you see how it is, you know what I'm saying? Now, here it is. That's a long nail. Let me just do it like that. And mine's just this little snap, so you just snap it. And yeah, the sandband is used because here it is. I use it on my practice hands and everything, so don't come for me. Like, eh, you gotta use it. Like, you know how weird people are. Like, eh, like shut up. Like, this is not Mary Kate and Ashley. This is not, um,. Um, this is not, you know, famous people shit. Like, this real live shit. This real people shit over here, okay? Like, I, I speak to real people. I don't speak to no wannabe celebrities or celebrities. Like, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to real live people. When I say real live people, I mean people who understand what's going on. Like, so don't come in. Okay. So, boom. You have that ready, but you don't use that yet. Do not use that yet, girl. Because I know y'all want to pick up that drill so bad. Don't you pick up that drill fast, girl. You put that... Put don't even look at it. Okay. Don't you look at that drill. I said don't look at it. I said not to look at it. Let me take my thing out. I said not to look at it. Okay, that's what be people messing up. They want to drill everything so quick. You got to do the base. You got to, come on, man. You just put the drill down. You'll get to that. But if you're starting off, don't just be drilling your shit off. Okay? Just, just wait. So, boom, get your file. This is how you check. You heard that? It need to be hard like that, okay? If it's not hard like that, you're not ready to drill, okay? If you got some powder and it's gummy, and it ain't, you know, like, you don't want no gummy powder. If you use some powder and you didn't realize it until you was done and it's still gummy and it's been sitting for over a minute and a half and it ain't cured, get you some clear acrylic and put on top of it, okay? I'm just going to tell you that if you want to keep using it. If not, throw that shit away. But go ahead and get you some clear acrylic put on there. But it needs to sound like this, okay? It needs to sound like that. So, boom. You go ahead, straighten out your file, straighten out your finger too. Go on the knee. And you know how you go to the salon and kind of push it in? You might want to push it in. Because here it is, if you don't, it'll be cutting, you'll be cutting the, um, your finger or the person's finger if you're working on it. Go like that, boom. That side clean, it's short. Okay, we're going to get to this side. Boom, you see that? It's clean. Now, get your file. I do it like this sometimes, and then sometimes I do it like this. It don't really matter. Just make sure your hands comfortable. You go ahead and you shake. You shake to make sure that it's even and smooth. If you got some lumps and dumps and stuff, your application isn't smooth, you go ahead and try to shave it out a little bit. But if it's too much of a lump, and you got some, like if you got some lumps up here, and you got a big valley dip right here and everything, you might need to add some more acrylic glue. So don't think you finished, cause you're gonna shave it all down and then your nail's gonna be weak and it's not gonna, it's like no purpose. So it's the purpose of having acrylic. So go ahead, go like this. Shape it up, side to side. Look side to side, okay? Don't you stay on this side and just be doing that. Don't you do that. Okay, this tip. This little tip here. No, y'all wait for that. Get that tip. Get my stiletto. Get my true stiletto shape that I want. See how it's like flimsy and stuff? Cause that's not supposed to be on there, okay? That's not supposed to be on there. But that's it is. It's really thin. I'll tell you, I get that off of there. You go like this. I didn't cut. I didn't oh, freak out or anything about it. I just did like this. That tip is gone. You see that? It's gone. It's gone. You see it? It's gone. So like this. Make sure that's stuck and crisp. I like my stiletto to be stiletto. I 
I think my daughter told me that it stands for tiny knives. If I'm wrong, don't pay me attention. But that's what my daughter told me. I was like, okay, she's pretty smart. So I trust her. So. Okay. Ow! You see what I'm saying? Like, you want just a little bit like that. You know what I mean? Okay. You don't want to hold your fire like that, you can hit it like this. Boom. Do not. Don't use this file to go buy your cute boo because you will hurt yourself, okay? And then you'll be pissed off that you even did this, okay? So don't. Just, just stay at the bottom to like the midway, almost the top, but not there, okay? You could cut yourself, cut somebody, and it's just not comfortable. Doing nails is supposed to be comfortable, okay? It's supposed to be relaxing. Look at that. Stop playing with me. So, boom. You get your drill. And then you get your bed. And then, like I said, it's pretty long. So, we're going to extend it a little bit. Lock it in. How many RPMs? A thousand. A thousand RPMs. It's the lowest. As soon as you turn it on, it's the lowest one. Okay, boom. Anchor your pinky. Anchor your pinky. There you go here. And when you ready... When you ready, when you ready, you hit it. You hit around the cubes right there. And what I like about these little small drill bits is that, and the straw, uh, and the small sanding bands is that it really don't cut anything. It don't. It cuts the nail, but it doesn't cut your skin. You don't cut your skin. And then you need to go like this, okay? That could be smooth. Cuticle area is really hard. It took me a while to master. She wants your cuticle to be smooth to go with your, you know what I'm saying, with your hair. Okay, and don't spend all day on it either because it really ain't that hard. Once you get it, you done, okay? You know, seal the cuticle. It's even, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and use your face. You bring it down a little bit. Bring it down. Go from side to side. Up. Pick your drill up. Do not go across people's fingers or your fingers like that. Now here it is. You got some bulking and you want to kind of get rid of that bulk. After your pinky, you go down like this. Oh, I forgot to mention y'all. Y'all gonna need some buffers. Y'all gonna need some buffers and some top coat. I'm sorry, y'all. I just really, I guess I just say I talk as I go because, you know, I didn't really get I didn't have to, I didn't even plan on doing this. So I was like, hey, let me go ahead and make a video. Yeah, look at that. Look how smooth that is. You see that apex? Stop playing with me. You see that. Stop playing with yourself. You can do this. I'm not scared. Don't be scared. Okay. You shouldn't have to shape no more. Okay. You want to shape, you see something out of line, so you say, okay, let me get this. Let me get this a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I want this to be a little sharper. Go ahead, get your fire. Get your fire, go on the knee. I want it to be a little sharper, darling. Okay, boom. That's it, boo. That's it right there. Okay. You ain't got to do no more filing. You ain't got to do no more. When I say you have to do no more filing, I'll tell y'all about that in a minute. You ain't got to do no more drilling. Like, people want to stay on that drill. You get off that drill, okay? Get you a buffer. This is a used buffer because, like I said, I use this stuff on my practice hands, so don't come for me. Use your buffer, and you going to buff, girl. You going to buff, girl, or boo. I don't know my man like to do their nails too. So no, I'm not trying to sleep, y'all. You gonna buff, okay? You gonna buff. If you go ahead and get these buffers, which you can get on um, Amazon, Shein, Timo. I think I got these. And I think they came like an 800. Amazon. That's what it was. I got these on Amazon. And I think they were like $15, $16 or something like that. I don't know. But I've been having the thing since last year. And I still got them. So I'm going. You gon' book, okay? I like to make sure my foot's buffed out. You buff underneath it. Buff underneath that thing. 
Stop playing with you. Buff it, girl. Then nail ain't finna pop out. Now, you don't want to hurt nobody. Put your hand on it. And you buff it, okay? Yeah, that, you that popping. That's how you know it's serious like this. Just getting it done. Okay, and you can look at it. You can tell. You can tell. Now, with these buffers, this is what you do. You see this side? I don't see a lot of people do this. Do this so, look at Look at it. You see what I'm saying? It don't take just a few seconds to just do something extra that would be really nice and beneficial. You doing your nails or you doing somebody else's nails, they like that. They be like, oh girl, this ain't nothing about. Because a lot of people don't do it. I don't see a lot of people do it. You use this side, okay? Use this side. Then boom, you done. You done. Now what y'all want to do? Y'all want to do a top coat or do y'all want to do some designs? I'm going to do some designs. Okay, boom. We're going to do a quick design real quick. If I ain't got much memory on my phone, I'm trying to get the video up and get it popping, okay? Let's see. What design we want to do? It's a piece of fire, uh, towel that I got off a, a little towel that I wasn't using. I cracked it and I used it for my um my gel brush and stuff. Okay, y'all. What we want to do? Mm. Let me holidays coming up and everything. Okay, we're gonna use some of this. We're gonna use this reflecting gel polish that I got off Timu, and um, it's okay, but ooh, it's really big. You could put some acetone on here and stretch this out because it's like really thick. A reflecting gel, a little small bottle. But, okay, same way, you just anchor your finger. Oh yeah, and, and you know, you usually have people like wash their hands and everything. Like, you haven't washed their hands before you start painting. You don't want that powder to be on it. I didn't because I was mad. thinking, of, like, you know, this is, I don't even use this practice hand. This practice finger. So you know that here it is. You want to get you some uh, cuticle wood sticks. You want to know why? Because if you're using your gel polish, you use this part. You swipe and clean it off. Look at that. Clean it off. Get you a good nail lamp. I'm so sorry. That's why I was saying like it's a lot of stuff that you know you you might be spending a hundred dollars. Hands, from different types of acrylic powder to different types of monomer to different types of uh, drills, nail drills, uh, acrylic brushes, jewels. I'm telling you, like, I am, I'm about it. I, I love doing nails, so you know. So, I don't know, but you might be spending a hundred dollars, but at the same time, think about you know, you're gonna be spending a hundred dollars, but you could also use it multiple times on yourself to save some money so instead of going at one time spending a hundred dollars you can just go ahead and spend a hundred dollars or more oops and you know do your thing do your thought this okay let me see what are we gonna do you guys are we gonna just let it say blend out i got some new bling i love to use it i used it on mine Cause I was like, oh, I just want to be icy, you know what I mean? I Okay, we're 
just gonna go. We're just gonna go get one. Okay, so boom. This is, you know, let's dry. This glue. DG. Big sister, whatever. Get this from um Sheen, y'all. It's some good glue. You could use it, it's a three in one. You could use it for uh gel X. I like to use it for um a rhinestone. And they stick, okay? Like they're not going nowhere. They're not going anywhere. I watch this just on I work, I do a lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And if you want to place blank on your nails, that's cool. Just try not to place it on your cuticle, on your extra cuticle. Because um, there was a story of a girl. She had bling on her nails and she was doing something. I think she's moving furniture or something. If you know the story, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, girl, she hit her nail and that bling went under her skin. And I was like, oh my gosh. I never wanted to be that close enough. few seconds because this glue is not like I mean you can do it for 30 you can do it for 60 or whatever but this glue is gonna dry out fast okay so once you put it on there if you take longer than 10 seconds that stuff is on there okay so make sure when you place your stuff that it's on there how you want it to be and by the way I got these from um I got these from Sheen as well y'all had it in another video with my phone hey, my phone my laptop is tripping laptop has not been cooperating i might just have to get a new one but whatever okay and then here it is you get you some top coat get you some good no white top coat okay like i used to be like oh girl you can use the dollar top coat and stuff from dollar general from dollar tree whatever like go ahead and do that if you want to but you really want some clear um no white top coat for it and i'm a model ones person like i swear i love model ones they got the best of that acrylic powder this far they got this top coat the mat all that girl like i, I love it so look how pretty that is okay you know what i'm saying this dreamy nails i'm gonna show you how to do some and then here it is do or enter that pinky and then do not put it on your diamonds i know some people do that And if you're just not careful, you know, trust yourself with this brush, get you a small little, you know, you want to go around the cuticle, get this, dab it, go like this, and try to drag it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, there's a whole bunch of ways, more ways to stick it, okay? It's, it's just more ways to do this. I'm going to show you my way. Let me go right there. Let me do it again. Do it right here. Then I'm gonna show you. you get a little bit of gel polish. And then here, as you get a little something on your folks or yourself, you wipe it off. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Do not 
use your fingers to do it, but I mean, you can. Wipe your hands, though. Go wash your hands. Go wash your hands. Don't leave that gel polish on. You gotta go wash your hands because stuff will break you out and have a pleasure. Oh, shit, y'all. The damn thing will cut out. Anyway, um, like I said, the last thing I said was, you know, wash your hands after using uh, the white top coat. I don't know where it cut off at, so now I gotta go check it out. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. It's so hard using your phone for stuff. But anyway, yeah, we just gonna, um, we just gonna do this. Damn, I wish I would've checked it. See, I don't know how long it's been recording. Like, uh, because I hope it didn't cut off something that I was really just trying to show y'all. But if so, then, oh, uh, yeah. I need to just go live so I can just avoid all of that. And then, boom, here you go. Let me turn that light out. Boom. Here you go. You see that? And okay, you guys, this is the final result. This is what she looks like. This is with the flash on. Like I said, this is the reflecting glitter in the back, and then it has some bling on top. And look how cute that nail is. Like, look, look at the shape. The shape is straight, okay? Like, and you could do this. You could do this at the house. Okay, girl, go ahead and save you some money. And if you guys like this video and want me to do more content like this, let me know. Say, girl, I want you to make some more nail videos. So you can tell us, like, I'm going to make some more nail videos anyway. Okay, like, that's believe. I'm just going to do that. But if y'all got, like, anything specific you want me to do, let me know. But, yeah, this is it. Like, girl, you go ahead and get the stuff before your holidays and everything come up and you be like, girl, go ahead and do that thing. Don't be scared if you think about doing nails and then you question yourself. This is the video to let you know. This is confirmation to let you know, like, you could do this. You can do this. I'm like two years in the game. Two years? Yeah, I'm two years in. Okay? I'm uh, um, two years in a month in, okay? And, and look what I, I, I came from, a, a bunch of stuff, okay? And here it is. It took me a while to grow, but I grew. And then look at this. I'm able to show y'all this dope ass nail. Like, come on. So yeah, go ahead, like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Give that video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Go ahead and help me get my followers up too, cause shoot, your girl I even hit 100, and I've been making videos for a minute. I've been doing that a long time too. Okay, I don't know if the algorithm messed up. I'm not gonna go into that. It doesn't even matter. Just, just go ahead. This is a good video for you. For you want to start off doing nails, do you boo? Okay. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.